Sometimes in AutoCAD, we need to make existing objects shorter or longer. They need to be stretched. To do this, AutoCAD has a command called stretch. Let's open up our stretch examples file. In it, we have a line, an ellipse, and a simple gasket. We're going to stretch these different objects in different ways using several different methods. So you start the stretch command by typing stretch on your command line or just the letter S. The stretch command is also found in the modify panel and the home tab on the ribbon right here. Start your command. Select your objects with the window or crossing window. Press enter. Pick a base point. Right now my ortho command is on, which is fine. And then pick a displacement point. And there you go. You just stretched it. The stretch command moves the vertices of objects. That means if you select an object by picking it, or if the object is completely enclosed in your crossing window selection, then the entire object will move, like this circle did and like this arc did. Now this line on the top and the one on the bottom, the ends here didn't move on the left side. But the ends that we had included in our crossing window did. Let me show you again. I'm using a crossing window and I'm fully engulfing or fully enclosing the arc and then this circle inside it. Those will move. So the stretch command can also be used like a move command. Now that I've picked all of my objects, I press enter. I pick a reference point and then my point of displacement. And I can stretch it all the way over here. Now you get a bit of a preview here. You can see the circle and the arc relative to each other haven't changed. And the endpoints of the two lines that are connected to the arc don't change either. But the parts that aren't selected remain the same, like this endpoint and this endpoint. So I can select this much and do that. I can select this much here, getting just the arc and part of these two lines and do this. Since there were no vertices on a circle, it grabbed the entire circle. But I can do this. Now I can use my shift key to unselect that circle, press enter, and stretch it. And that's cool. Let's use the stretch command again. I'm selecting the arc and these two lines. I picked this one because I couldn't get around it. So let's unselect it. Press enter. And now let's snap to the center, press enter, of this arc. And now we're going to snap to the center of the circle, putting them back where they need to be. You can also make your selections for the stretch command with a regular window. Now it only grab these two objects because it's a window, not a crossing window. So it won't grab the endpoints of these two lines because it can't. So when I pick my reference point and my displacement point, I'm only moving these two objects. So when you use the stretch command, you will almost always use a crossing window. If you select objects individually, then it's going to be a move command, which is fine. If that's what you want to do, you can do that. Now, some objects can't be stretched. And that object is an ellipse. If I try to stretch it, nothing happens. Well, that's because an ellipse really doesn't have any vertexes or vertices like the rest of these objects do. I have these points, you know, that we can grip to, the quadrant points, but that's it. But most everything else can be stretched.